On November 9, 2000, UNESCO declared the archipelago of San Andres Providence and Catlina as a New World Biosphere Reserve, Cal Seafloor, becoming part of the 651 ecological zones of this type that exist on the planet, which bring together 120 countries. This international organization suspects four criteria for this declaration. The first was the high marine coastal and terrestrial biodiversity that the archipelago has. The second, the possibility that the archipelago serves as a pilot to fulfill the principle of sustainable development with the participation of the main actors of the local community. The third criteria was the sufficient importance for conservation, natural resources, and culture. And the fourth was for the administrative capacity to carry out the zoning plan of the Biosphere Reserve. Within the framework of this nomination of the archipelago as a Biosphere Reserve made by UNESCO, its respective management plan was formulated for which the necessary steps were taken to comply with this legal mandate. The future management of the development of the archipelago and environmental management in particular were framed in this great objective, which set the possible scope of action for any proposal to be implemented. The proposals of management plan were consolidated with the active participation of the community in harmony with their tradition and culture to achieve the articulation between the conservation of biodiversity, strategic ecosystems, and the environment and the environmental benefits derived from the uses of the natural resources for socioeconomic development towards the benefit of the archipelago community as a whole. The archipelago of San Andres, Providence, and Catlina is one of the most isolated island groups in the Americas and has three small inhabited islands, keys, coral banks, shoals, and atolls, with a total insular area of 57 square kilometers and a marine area of 300,000 square kilometers, which is equivalent to approximately 10% of the Caribbean Sea. The land area is made up of the island of San Andres, Providence, and Catlina, Albuquerque, Bolivar, Keys and Banks such as Roncador, Serrana, Quitasueño, and Serranilla, and is located in the western sector of the Caribbean Sea. Due to its geographical position, the archipelago limits to the north with the countries of Jamaica, Cayman Islands, Haiti, the Dominican Republic, Honduras, to the southeast with the departments of the Atlantic coast of Colombia, to the south with Panama and Costa Rica, and to the west with Costa Rica, Nicaragua, and Honduras. The ecosystems of the seafloor biosphere reserve are representative of tropical insular regions with flora and fauna consisting basically of coral reefs, seagrass beds, seaweeds, mangroves, sandy bottoms, beaches, coastal dunes, forest ecosystems, and are home to high indices of endemism and an aquifer of great ecological importance located on the island of San Andres. 76.5% of the coral areas of the Colombian Caribbean are found in the seafloor biosphere reserve. Specifically, 57 coral species have been identified, of which 90% are on the red list of threatened species of the International Union for the Conservation of Nature. These are some of the largest and most productive offshore coral reefs in the Caribbean, including two barrier reefs around the island of San Andres and Providence. The second, Providence, is 32 km long and is one of the longest in the world. Through this area, one of the conservation strategies in marine and coastal areas is developed 
and it is necessary to strengthen and establish legal tools to protect both ecosystems and associate species in the long term in order to meet the objectives of conservation. Having one of the most extensive coral ecosystems, two barrier reefs make part of it. They are around San Andres and Providence with five atolls and other coral banks. The extension of its marine grass beds present in shallow waters up to 10 meters deep has an approximate extension of 5 million meters. The mangroves add up to a total of 186 hectares between San Andres, Providence, and Catalina, distributed in four species, Rhizophora, Apicenia, Laguncularia, and Conocarpus. There are 57 species of coral and 273 species of fish from 54 families, of which two are endemic. There are 18 resident bird species, two endemic, known as Video Caribeus and the mangrove mockingbird. Other species, including the loggerhead, green turtle, hawksbill, and McQueen sea turtles, as well as an important variety of endemic and resident reptiles such as the blue lizard, peony lizard, brown lizard, screechy lizard, iguana snakes, like silver snake and boa. Hikiti, land turtle, and swanka swamp turtle, countless invertebrates and insects. There is also a tropical dry forest with 374 species of plants distributed in 93 families, of which 23% are introduced and 70% are native. The zoning of marine areas is a management tool that has been used around the world to protect marine resources and to help resolve conflicts that arise with the users of the sea. The zones that were established participatorily with the stakeholders for the system of marine protected areas in the Seaflower Biosphere Reserve have the purpose of reducing damage to resources and threats to the quality of the environment while allowing uses that are compatible with the conservation of the resources, allowing to evolve in their natural state with a minimum of human influence. <laughs>